Smartphones and cameras have dramatically better night shooting capabilities these days, but they still require a decent amount of light, particularly for video. However, there's a whole subset of cameras dedicated to shooting in the dark using sensitive CMOS sensors and even infrared capability. Those models from Cyanix and others are mostly used for security or commercial purposes, but a new camera called the Duovox Mate Pro is aimed at consumers. It features a Sony Starvis 2 CMOS security camera sensor that's supposedly a thousand times more sensitive than the latest smartphone sensors. It promises clear color images where a smartphone or your eyes would just see a dark smudge. It just launched on Kickstarter at a fairly high price of $600. So what will backers get for that kind of money? I got my hands on one to test it out. The Duovox Mate Pro has a 1 by 1.8 inch sensor that shoots 3200 by 1800 images and 2560 by 1440 video at 30 frames per second. The camera is tiny at 4 inches wide by 2.0 inches tall and weighs just 216 grams. However, the lens juts out 3 inches, so it's not exactly pocketable. You wouldn't want to stick it in a pocket anyway, as it doesn't come with a lens cap. There's a power button, shutter release, and four other buttons that activate different menu settings. Other control is done via the 3 inch fixed touchscreen that's bright enough to see in daylight. It has a micro SD slot that supports up to 512 gigabyte cards and a USB-C port for charging and file transfers. The settings are designed for night shooting, so they're not what you'd find on a typical camera. For example, it has an instant recording mode that starts the moment the camera is powered up. It also has a wayback mode that continuously records but only keeps the footage if you hit the record button. Photo settings include a quick capture mode that takes a photo when the camera is powered on and face detection that automatically takes a photo when specific people are detected. You can also set things like screen brightness, quality, and more. The Mate Pro also has a Wi-Fi option. That way you can upload directly to your smartphone via a hotspot connection or even stream directly to the internet. The main attraction of this camera is the Sony Starvis 2 CMOS backside illuminated sensor that's far more sensitive than conventional sensors. It's not an infrared camera, but it can detect near infrared light and is sensitive down to 0.0001 lux, equivalent to a moonless overcast night sky. It's important to bear in mind that this sensor is designed for security cameras, not image quality. Duovox uses AI to get the best exposure and minimize noise, but it's essentially shoehorning an industrial part into a consumer product. The seven element lens has a fast f0.9 aperture, but equivalent full frame focal length of about 70 millimeters, which is pretty long. The minimum focus distance is also very long, something like 15 to 20 feet, so it's not useful for shooting close objects. The camera also has a fairly powerful built-in light with three different brightness levels. To test the Duovox Mate Pro, I took it out at night into a variety of situations. I had clear skies but no moon, so it was pitch black outside of any towns. That's how I discovered that this camera needs some light to work. Pointing it at some trees and a field, everything was completely black except for the sky. You could see stars and clouds, but the image was extremely grainy. If you're planning on using it to spot wildlife then, as Duovox touts on its Kickstarter page, you'll need at least some moonlight to do so. Once you add a bit of light though, it can produce surprisingly bright images with reasonably accurate colors. One shot of a town was bright enough to clearly see the scene, but nearly completely black with a smartphone. I tested it while driving my car at night, and everything was lit up like it was daytime. Even if there's enough light for a scene, there are some pretty big drawbacks though. The image is boosted electronically, so the less light you have, the grainier it is. The noise clears up with more light, of course, but at that point, you could just use your smartphone or a normal camera. 
The focal length is impractical and focal distance too long to shoot indoors for the most part. That issue can make it difficult to use as a wildlife camera trap as well. It's also prone to strobing with artificial light sources, including its own light. And finally, it has significant rolling shutter that causes a lot of wobble in video. The Duovox Mate Pro appears to be a success so far on Kickstarter with over $160,000 raised. It costs $600, but that price will supposedly rise to $1,200 once the campaign ends. But will buyers get what they expect for their purchase? From what I've seen in the Kickstarter comments and elsewhere, many probably will. However, some may be disappointed with the poor image quality in very low light. Duovox should show more image and video samples in those conditions, so buyers have a better idea of what to expect. That said, there are very few devices that can deliver bright, full-color images with almost no light. One of those is the $800 Psyonix Aurora, which promises color images using visible and infrared light. It doesn't offer the same color fidelity because of the infrared part, but appears to have superior light sensitivity. You could also just use an old Sony A7S series camera and crank up the ISO, then boost the signal further in post. It wouldn't work as well in really dark conditions, but the image quality would be far better. If you're looking for a night vision camera for travel, security and more, it is worth taking a look. Duovox expects to start shipping in October, but keep in mind that with Kickstarter, there are no guarantees you'll get the product and you may lose all your money. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And for more on tech, check out Engadget.com.